What's up, guys? Bienvenido to tonight's Chisme on Aquí Omando podcast. I'm your host, Nacho Libre, <laughs> also known as Chila G. <laughs> and I'm Ratso. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> For Halloween, I'm a, a cigarette addict. Can't stop. <laughs> oh, shit. Let me hit this fan. Yeah, hit that fan. There we go, baby. Yeah, did you see that booty? <laughs> Who we got to shout out, you dirty hoe? <laughs> Be a good dispenser. You want the, you know, the fiest, the flyest weed ever on uh, Broadway in Hampton. Make sure you show some love. Come stop in. Get some eights, ounces, carts, trappy meals, wax, pens. It just goes. They even got some dope-ass gear. Check it out. Oh, shit. The be good. Where, oh, where is it? Where is it located? If it ain't good, or if it ain't be good, it's, it's no, no good. good. Oh, we got it right that time. It only took us <laughs> fucking ever. <laughs> we got our timer running. That's stash. Yeah. <laughs> you got the timer going. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that stash. Let like me come here. You like that? It's all natural, baby. Grew it myself. <laughs> I'm intrigued. Tell me what I made. So I made this costume. Okay, it's obviously recycled. But uh, I wore it to the pumpkin patch with my son. We wore the wig? Yeah. And oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you guys can't see us, I am in my natural Libre fucking Guchado gear. Got the curly hair. I got the stash. You know, the red jumper with my fucking tights. Can't fucking miss it. But so anyway, so back to the story. I'm at the pumpkin patch with my son. And people are like, Nacho! And my son's like, why does everyone keep fucking talking to you? Why do they keep calling you that? I was like, son, you don't know this movie? And this was, you know, a while ago. And he's like... I gotta watch, mom. What the heck? And then this guy came up to me and did the same shit. And you know what I told him? What? Beneath a man, you find his nucleus. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> <It's> stupid. <laughs> Sick ass fool. Did he laugh? Yes. Did he like yes, that? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh. This chick, you're wild. And give I me a piece of that corn. I thought you were gonna dress up slutty. <laughs> I mean, you can still see it all in here in the south. It's loud, baby. A little dimpty back there. Oh. All that junk in your trunk. You know I like junk food. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lil Wayne. Thank you for letting us know. Oh, it's a trick. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, guys. Welcome back. We appreciate everybody's been tapping the fuck in. Tapping the motherfuck in. Ooh. Fingers Episode 45. 45. Damn. <laughs> I hate you. All right. Oh, they probably hate my laugh. I'm sorry that I got that deflate I hate laugh. My laugh. I hate my laugh. Yeah, when I hear it too, I'm like, mm. no, your laugh is funny because it's like, mm. I love the old man laugh. Our laughs Mind? together. Uh, who has the old man laugh? Both of us. I sound like I'm deflating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of which one's my favorite, but all right, down all right. in the DM hole. Pop your pussy for down in the DM. <laughs> I I got one. <laughs> I got one. You got your pussy on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get stupid. Oh, she loves me. What? Ah, oh, dude, that shit's strong. Right. Sorry. Feel it in my throat. All right, here we go. Just put it in my mouth. Do you remember that song? Yeah. Put my it in my mouth. In my, in my motherfucking, motherfucking mouth. mouth. Damn, we was hella soon. I had no business listening to that song. All right, here's my down in the DM. Ready? Yep. It says, what's up, Rassum? Just got a couple questions, but my main question is, if you can have a fivesome with five bad bitches it's all sex and related. one dude, <laughs> would you do it? Would you? That people want to know. <laughs> <laughs> no. What? No. What if it's a small wiener? Like the size of my pinky. No. I was scared of the Audi. What makes you think I'm going to fucking... <laughs> not the Audi, bitch. She's outing herself out right now. <laughs> listen, listen. Oh, we totally forgot. So remember when we talked about like that girl saying that uh, we were cringe and shit? You were like, yeah, well, nobody forgot that you... <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Say oh it, God. bitch. Hold on. Hold no. on. Hold <laughs> on. Nobody <laughs> forgot. <laughs> People don't forget, bitch. That's all I'm say. People don't forget shit, bitch. No. Bro, really? Why? <laughs> We've all done it. Not me. You're not lying. me. You're lying, bitch. 
at the concert? Not at the concert, but you've been there. Yeah, but not at the concert. Listen here, guys. At the that stadium. Comment below what you think we're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, this chick. Down the DM. Okay. But yeah, so, so the answer was a no. Dang. I could probably pull five bad bitches on my own without somebody. You damn hoe. Okay, ready? Mine is. Why are you happy hoe? Because you take on five. So greedy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it says, how long you going to keep me waiting, baby? And I said, till you pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, that's not a problem. So do I go to Denver or do I fly you out? And I just Ooh, fucking nice said. An- nice answer. <laughs> what did you say? Nothing. <laughs> he right back? He did. He did. He just said like a smirking face. You didn't write back to that though? That wasn't it? You yeah. got a wig, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh oh. Fucking, uh-uh. we got an Amber Alert. Oh shit, My what is it? Blowing up. Sandra oh, Mendoza. Be careful out there. Oh, yup. Oh, fuck. Dude. Okay, let's talk about some other fucking DMs. Because I had. One of my homeboys, okay, and he's one of the ones that was at Snow the Product, mm-hmm. posted an innocent video of me, okay, and I don't give a fuck, because fuck this bitch. <laughs> um, he posted a video of me and was like, hey, you know, shout out to my homegirl, Chula G, go listen to her podcast. That was it. That was the whole video. His fucking baby mom went hard, hard, and it was like the Margarita Festival, and we were all faded. Faded. I love that. Um, but she's fucking riding me, dude. Right now, and I'm still? like, bitch, I... G- no, not anymore. But I'm like, bitch, I got time today. I got time today. Hold on, let me go. I like how when Trula, she tells us the background story all the time. <laughs> because it's real life. I wish I was making it up. Because this shit is not like... I mean, it happens every day, though. For real? You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, I'm not the only one that shit happens to. When I was younger, I used to get accused a lot. Like, what bitch you fucking... Dude, yeah. that fucking video you reposted of, like... um having a good date and then all of a sudden you're like how many other bitches did you have ice cream with yeah <laughs> is that you you're the toxica i try not to be but it's in my blood oh my goodness okay hold on i, I, feel arch- like I archived it like when pete girls ask me like what's your cologne i'm like you're not about to put your man on it's called it's called it's loyalty called, it's called getty last name porta okay ready so the messages are um sh- 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 so this is just i'll read what i wrote to her because she was like if you're gonna be fucking my baby daddy and being around my son like i think we should be cordial and meet each other i'm like first of all bitch i do not know your kid i don't plan on meeting your fucking kid and yeah. then <laughs> like your baby dad yeah fucking how long ago did you get tattooed by him so i wrote as one of the top content creators in the colorado industry and having met you personally, I respectfully ask that you refrain from contacting me regarding this matter, as I have no involvement in your personal life. So please do what you feel is right. As a mother, I hear you, but I have never met your children, and I don't know who they are. Please understand, I prefer not to be included in any f- uh, further communication. She's like, you included yourself when you were fucking around with my husband and shit, like, no... Uh, she, she doesn't even make sense who's in my IQ she goes there are way people above you sorry kind of overshooting there ha ha quit sucking and fucking for free tattoos bitch <laughs> I was like oh my god so like the whole time I was just like bitch I got time today and it's just like obviously we talked about the stalker that I've had on here like no bitch we ain't playing that game so like this bitch is savage she gave me her address she gave me her number she's like pull up I don't give a fuck about the police I ain't got nothing to lose I'm like bitch you're wild so I sent it to her baby's dad and he's like dude you're not the only one look at this and all his homegirls were sending him screenshots the same kind that I was getting I was like oh you suck dick for tattoos you fucking whore she's like there are no such thing as best friends with dudes. You're fucking fucking him, aren't you? And then, like, some bitches were, like, going back and forth with her. They're like, the fact that you're on cocaine and you're an escort is crazy, but okay. What? That just did a complete crazy mm. turn. Wild. Wild the fuck out, dude. Don't want to hit the sink. I get it. <laughs> nah. It's not real, guys. I don't know one. It's real. Real fake. I feel like when I was, like, in high school... Maybe at the end of it, I I smoked the pink marbles. What about the candy? No, the camels. Oh, I was talking about the candy cigs. Oh, I love those. Those are my favorite Halloween candy. They have, like, the gum. Yes. 
Oh, the, but I like the chalk stick ones. You know what I'm talking about? Love those. So anyways, fuck these baby moms. <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, if I was not it, you would not be in my fucking DM. You're weird. You're weird as fuck. But all for promotion, which is crazy because I'm like, bitch, I've complimented you. I've like did nothing but respect you when I met you. And you're like really out here like that. You wildin'. Wild as fuck. I'm glad I don't got that issue right now. I try to lay low. You've had dudes hit you up though, right? Yes. <laughs> like what? <laughs> fuck my bitch. Which one? <laughs> they're like, are you with that stupid little bitch? And they laugh. I'm like, I'm oh, like, cause you, you're no, the stupid little bitch. No, they're his girl's the stupid oh. little bitch. She's like, you with that stupid <laughs> little bitch? And then we both be laughing. I'm like, am I with you or what? Oh my god. She could be arguing with her ex or whatever, and I'd be like, where are we gonna eat? Oh my god. Driving. Hurry up. up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm no. Hungry. Fuck no, dude. Ooh, I don't we're like so that. Bad. I don't go to girls' houses, and if I do, you're special. Lucky. Yeah, you're I don't special go to the girls' houses pe- because people, you'll hear a boom, 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 boom. Like, what is that? Nah, nah, go away. Go to bed. Oh my god. You didn't go to bed. Alexa, volume up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see nothing wrong. It's like with a little. <laughs> there you go. All right, so let's go ahead since we're talking about all the bullshit. Bullshit. The Denver foodie was on Akio Mando, his first ever ex- appearance that online. Was hard. hard. Shout out to him. But um, let's talk about that whole fucking week. Dude, I had to stay off the internet oh for at God. least two days. First of all, this one's for all the haters. Because bitch. <laughs> that shit was wild. Yeah, mad at us because we're reporting. Like, what the freak? So first of all, okay. The live, we never go live, obviously. Our shit's pre-recorded. It's great quality. You know, we've escalated a long a long time ago. But we it got live. 11. Yeah, on live, it's crappy. Obviously, it's fucking not the same quality. Fucking camera. Whatever. Oh, shit. We hit 11K on a live. 11 mm. motherfucking K. 11K. Someone's fucking my bitch. No, mm. I no, I didn't drop it. I tried to throw it away. Mm. Hit 11K, okay? Comments are crazy. Ridiculous. <sighs> And people r- screen recorded it, okay, without us fucking knowing. They're also screenshot of the comments. And let me just say, okay, our audience Jeez. are fucking millennials, first of all. And they're like people of color, okay? The people that were writing ugly, nasty comments were all white. They were all hipsters. And I honestly felt like they were all of the Denver Foodies ops. Like, they were like, hey, go comment on this fucking live right now. And it was like, this motherfucker's a piece of shit. He's a scammer. Yeah. He's fu- and he's a bitch. He's not showing his fucking face. And, like, everything. It was ridiculous. And I'm like, it took so much out of me to not fucking write back. And I'm calling her. I'm calling her. I'm like, did you read that shit? Oh, my God. Fucking bitch. <laughs> it was hard because I was chilling with, like, I was just chilling with some people and, like, they're like so tense. I'm not so tense. It's just like my phone's getting blown up. Mm-hmm. Like it's getting blown the fuck up. And then you up. have your people calling like, "Hey, did you go read that? Did you see that shit?" Yeah, and not even that. It was just it was just keeping track of like, "Hey, you got 1k views." And then it was just adding up and adding up. Not like, "Damn." Oh my god. But it was cool. It was good for him because he had a chance to speak on his truth to to actually go out there. And people, no matter what came out of his mouth and the fact it came out of his mouth. Right. No one give a fuck. Exactly, because nobody gives a fuck about the truth. A, a lot of them already have their mind made up. So it's like, you could say, they ha- you could have the hardcore facts right in front of their face, and they'd be like, fuck, no, I don't care, no, no, no. So I'm like, okay, whatever. But um, like I said, like, so our audience, you know, it's people of color. I'm not saying there's not people that aren't. But the majority of them are minorities. So it's the same thing for the Denver foodie. And he his shit is like a bunch of locals, so like, all the people that were talking shit were his ops, and yeah. they were and they were their friends, and they were ghost profiles, like ridiculous. I know. I was like, "What the fuck?" And this bitch was like, "I want to comment back." Like, okay, one picture, yeah. but th- we had some soldiers on there having our back too, though. Yeah, we had some positive feedback, even and even the people that were talking shit were actually in our DMs. Oh my god! Saying, you know no, what? No, let's talk about it because okay, because th- this was crazy. Okay, obviously. You guys seen the episode. So he called out the people. He provided all receipts for everybody who went on the news and bashed him. Who, Foodie? Yeah. So then go, you guys go watch that right now. It's up on his Instagram, TikTok, I think Facebook too. But um, so one of the guys that he called out, like, he reached out to us and was like, hey, I want to be on the pod. Then I was just like, no. 
and he was like you're extremely biased i can't believe that you won't let me tell my side like at the end of the day he was only going to say like no he's lying and it would that would have been it like what else would we have talked about other than that so it, i was just like it's not when we pick and choose if you guys are a guest on the pod it's based off of a ton of other factors and what resonates with our audience what we think you guys will like the most and I don't think that story would have went anywhere. It, was any, it wasn't anything personal, but he was, like, really pissed. He was upset. He was pissed. No, that was good because, it, you're like you said, we wouldn't have got nothing out of that. Yeah, so it's just like, you know, Next. whatever. He had his chance, though. He w- you went on the news, and you said what you had to say, so it's like. Yeah, you oh. started it. But then, okay, let's talk about the blocking and, like, all the other shit. <laughs> Did we get blocked? So we got blocked from those pages, obviously, but. Even the reporter, Jeremy, blocked us because uh-huh. I kept tagging that fool. I didn't give a fuck. I was like, nine news, Jeremy, blah, 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 fucking the Denver foodies was scammer type shit. But people were riding so hard for the foodie. Everybody who um, was talking shit to him, they ended up apologizing to him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I, I, that's what I was saying. I was reading things. I've seen, I was watching the arguments and this, and then all of a sudden, even someone was like, fuck this podcast, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And the hater was like, I, hope, even I hope this is the start and end to your podcast. Yeah. It's fucking trash. Yeah. And the guy. Or they're fucking the two tortas on the couch. Yeah. And even the, <laughs> even the dude who was talking, she was like, wait, whoa, hold on. It has nothing oh to do with God. them. Yes, dude. I have it. Let me read it because this shit's wild as fuck. All I know is like my shit got blown up. I had to put my phone down for it two was, days. It was exhausting. You were, you were like, ask me if I, I've seen it, if it was on my screen. But, like, I was just trying to distract myself and lay low. There's no such thing Because that shit will eat you. Okay, ready? It says, hating, damn, so he didn't rip off local businesses. Not hating y'all for having him on. It was good to see him flounder. You should have the other homie on and reach out to their businesses, too. Good content and tea. It's probably his friend. And then I just said, arrange it, motherfucker, and we will do it. And he was just like. I don't know the guy personally, but see, <laughs> like he also has received like, sh- fool, shut the fuck up then. Mind your business. <laughs> it's um, just crazy how much people take time mm-hmm. in their day to get on the Internet and no. really say some shit. No. And then it's like full stand on it. Like maybe because we're different, like because I don't give a fuck. I am a hood bitch. And I'm like and where people were talking shit about the foodie because he had a shysty on. I'm like, that's who he is. That's how, how he talks. Why do we have to be a certain way for people to like us? Like, we have the followers because of how we, we are. are. Yeah, exactly. We are who we so are. So where they, <laughs> where they were saying that friend? shit, like, he uh, he stays trapped and he has a shysty. Fool, don't threaten somebody. We're in Denver, Colorado. Everybody has a gun. Like, when motherfuckers like you say you're going to go beat him up, yeah, he's going to say, I'm you know, I'm protecting myself, but it's because the way he talks, they were just talking shit. I don't know. Do you know? Uh, shout out to <laughs> Foodie though, because he put up with all that. Because we got our own little, we got our own little shit. See, and then I was like, go follow, go his episodes out now, and I'm just like trying to promote the fuck out of it because I'm like, and eat you it did. Up, I thought we, up. I thought we hired some like <laughs> auto bot to fucking <laughs> after every message, <laughs> and then someone wrote back and was like, we're making fun of you, <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> Follow, follow now yep, on all yep. platforms. <laughs> go go f- talk shit underneath. Because, you know what, at the end of the day, and it's super cliche to say, but all publicity is good publicity. Whether it's good or bad, and it's just like... Because where else did he tell a story? Nowhere. Nowhere, bitch. Thought it was dope he picked us. And guess what? And the love was crazy. I love... And it's like not even like our own family or his own family reached out and was like, hey, are you good? You know, what What could we do? How could we help you? Because this is not even true. We know who you are. Blah, blah, blah. And that shit was so hard. Because I even, I read some of those messages because he was sending them to me. I was like, this is cool. But dude, even on Reddit, I was dying because they were like, all he did was go on his girlfriend's podcast. And I was fucking weak, dude. I was pissed by pants. I was like, first of all. Let's be Why did you did you guys expect us to grill him? Like we're not interrogating him. It's his story. We're just here to fucking. And he was cool. He was a cool mic. guy. Pass him the mic. And why are you mad? We had some drinks. We talked it out. We asked the questions that everybody was uh, wanting to hear. Exactly. People were calling like when we went live. That shit. Did you see those paragraphs? Yes. Yeah, bad. Bad. But guess what? Whether you liked it or not, you still came on to see what to see what he had to say. Right. And I feel for Foodie. Shout out to him because, like, I, I like, like that I was a soldier. He survived that shit because I know, yeah. I know it was getting. Never to give him. up. Never yeah. give up. Because once you're at the top, man, you gotta worry about. It only gets phone. worse. Yeah, it only gets worse when you get bigger. You know, when they say more money, more problems. Yes, it's real. 
and not, not everyone understands when they're like, what do you mean it comes? this comes with the job? Like, what comes with it? What comes with it is either you're going to be big, be an influencer, blow up, get views, get paid, or it's not for you. Right. It right. sucks. It's true, though. It's true as fuck. But shout out to everybody watching shit. <laughs> No, for real. Because no, and we then like the love the that we got from it too. Like, hey, I love your podcast. This is sick as fuck. Like, I want to go on. Blah blah blah. Let's. How do we work together? To we just chill. And I'm like, yes, baby. What's up? I love those messages, especially when they find me on my own personal one. They're like, hey, I see you. Yeah, but yeah. So fucking. So all of that's going on, and I'm like, oh my gosh, it was like. You really, and then when you're big like that too, I've heard people say like you can't read the comments because they will eat your life they'll consume you and your time and you'll <coughs> just be fucking like in your head so i went to las vegas uh, i went to the lowrider super show out there all of this is happening i'm like i gotta get the fuck out of yeah, here yeah left me here i left <laughs> yeah, hell yeah i left but i fucking love vegas dude i love the <laughs> people like i swear i like down here i feel like you know i'm already a star but out there i'm a fucking all superstar they're like fucking treat me like damn this exotic bitch i know how you feel i'm like damn what's up baby but remember they say foodie's not a celebrity supposedly mm-hmm. my favorite one and i fucking wish we addressed it on there was like oh if that's not true how can we fucking he changed his name and i was just like and i wrote it on there i was like this is not me being biased. This is actual factual fucking information. When you have that many followers and you want to change your name, you have to wait for Instagram to approve it. And it takes between two to four weeks to get that shit approved. And then it changes. It had nothing to do with the lawsuit. And it, oh my gosh, we didn't even talk about that. So we're going to backtrack from Vegas. Um, wow, the people, and now the people came for the fucking other people. So they were like, that guy, Jake Salazar, is involved with the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Yeah. Politics. Okay, he's a volunteer, but you still have to jump through all the hoops, provide all this fucking money, be a part of all the meetings, and people were going in on him. Yeah. And every time someone commented something nasty and tagged the Colorado uh, Chamber of Commerce page, blocked. Because I've had, like, my homegirl send me a screenshot. She was like, dude, my husband got blocked. But it's just, like... I think they didn't realize they were opening Pandora's box. Like, it totally backfired on them. Yeah. And then it went into, like, a fucking... uh, He told me that they tried to charge him with extortion, that the foodie was extorting the other guy. Yeah. But it got dropped. They're like, nah. They got no case here. Yeah. That's (laughs) wild. Over fucking a foodie? I don't know. Remember, he just said, read your contracts. Know what you're signing. Right. That shit was crazy because you know, know what we sat there like. Remember I told you it's either gonna be a hit or it's gonna fucking. No, I was like, get ready for it, the good and the bad. I was like, I hey, was let's ready. go. I was like, let's go. I don't know how you did it. I couldn't read all those comments. <sighs> I was just. <laughs> I couldn't do it. My mom was like, "There she is, Trula, just writing everybody back. Go follow. It's on YouTube." Because a lot of people were like, "The audio shit. What kind of production is this?" I'm like, "Dude, it's live." Yeah, like go on YouTube, off. go on Apple. Let me on see Spotify. your fucking Android live version. Oh my god, I know. Like fucking go start. And then my homegirl got into a fight with some one of the bitches. I was like, shit. Yeah. And she's like, well, if you think it's bias, how about you start your own podcast and you invite him to go on then? Because you know. And she's like, it's because they're just too buddy buddy with him. I'm like, I we're not journalists, motherfucker. We're a podcast. We're your homegirls. We're your primas, tias in here just chilling. Like what the. Fuck? <laughs> I guess I got flautas, whatever. <laughs> Torta, que flauta. Chululas, I don't know. <laughs> Tortitas. I don't know, but, you know, like I said, I don't know how you did it. I just had to lay low. I'd, it'd be tough. Fuck no. So That's I went, exhausting. Yeah, fuck no. I went to Vegas. I was like, ah, dude, loved it out there. I didn't have to pay for one motherfucking drink. And it was sick, dude. Like, it's crazy how many people from around the world come. There's So I was with the Rollers Only. That's a really big car club. They, uh, they have members in fucking Germany flying down yeah. for this shit. I was like, what? But I met some cool ass fool. He's listening to the pod right now. I like, shout out fucking Chuko Chapter. Of Chuko Roll- Chapter. <laughs> Rollers only. Rollers only. There you go. There you go. All right. We're going to go over time on this one. I've seen her flag over there. 
But um, Vegas was dope. And my favorite part, I love being in the hop. Have you ever been to a hop? Mm-hmm. And they're fucking mm -hmm. hitting the switches. Yeah. I swear. And I'd be sneaking into those motherfuckers because they. I saw you. I like straight. <laughs> I saw you. I'm obviously famous for my butt cheeks, okay? It's not a fucking secret. So I went Prove in it. there. <laughs> I went in there and I tried to like jump. And so in the low rider scene, like it's the closer you get to the hop, um, the better, like the more viral you go. So it's like I had to, I had this skirt on with like a thong. Yeah, I saw you pull it down. Yeah, so I fucking pulled my skirt down, pulled my butt cheeks. And it was so funny because I got in front of a bunch of photographers and I feel like half of them got mad and the other half didn't. They're like, hey, what's your Instagram? And I met so many cool people like, follow, follow, follow. I'm like, fuck yeah, that shit came out sick. I'm sorry I didn't get to go. I wanted to go. That shit sucked. It's okay. We'll plan our trip. It's good. It's work. You know how work is? Fuck. I know it. Stop causing that. leaks, bitches. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> and not the ones in her panties. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways. Okay. So... Let's jump into our haunted story. It is still October. Do you want to read this one? Sure. Okay. All right. Here we go, guys. Haunted story time. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, fuck. I don't know what that was. Oh, it's my drink. Mensa. Okay, go ahead. Mensa. Mensa. It was the ghost already, bitch, from the story. Ready, guys? Riverdale Road. Oh, my gosh. Located in Thornton, Colorado. After doing some research... This is what we found out. On the north end of the road, there was a large home, but it's said that the owner was possessed by a demon. And he was burnt and he burned his house to the ground with his family still inside. The house had a large iron gate out front and the locals had named it the Gates of Hell. <laughs> God, Lucifer. <laughs> oh, shit. There have been reports of seeing a ghost lady in a white dress, and her attention never leaves the path like she's looking for her husband or children. But that's not where it all ends, guys. <laughs> there have been multiple experiences at Jogger Hill, so apparently there are joggers who was killed by hit and run. People have said that they have heard a heartbeat, something hitting their car, and footsteps. Legends say don't. Legend says don't let him. <laughs> Sorry, legends say don't let him get to the driver's side window or you'll die. <laughs> 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 so I love, love how in sync that was. <laughs> so the I didn't know this, okay? And there's a lot of people who did this shit. Like one of my homies, he went to Riverdale Road, shut off his car, and they threw their fucking keys out just because they're fucking nuts like that, okay? And they're sitting there. They were shitted. Basically, they're like, oh, my God, a fucking panic attack. The car wouldn't start after that. It was wild as fuck. But I heard I heard why you hear the drums, though. Okay, so there was so online, if you guys look this story up, it's like people have seen a, lot, a bunch of ghosts there, dead bodies hanging from the tree. Um, a lot of people crash and die over here on this road. And you hear like like a beat, like, dun, 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 dun. I wonder if that's the jogger's hill. Yeah, but I heard that, like, there's, like, I don't know. I just, mm -hmm. I just heard there's factors behind I am behind never me. going. I've been when I was younger. I used to go high school. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. Um, <laughs> is this, like, the third bridge, or is this different? Uh, I think this is different. Okay, yeah, the third bridge is even scarier. We'll get into that. Uh, okay. You're in charge of that one. But, um, so, I put this on our uh, fucking Instagram just to see, like, how common it was. And there was a lot of people. So, this girl said... On my mama, I literally seen a skinwalker. This shit was crazy. I had left one of my friend's house and I was on my way to pick up another friend so we could go out. I was on Riverdale and something ran in front of my car. So I slammed on the brakes and the way I always explained it was like a dog, but way bigger than a wolf on all fours. It was scary looking like the drawings of the chupacabra. It looked at me straight up, stood on two legs and ran like a person. This was the most trippy shit of my life. I didn't realize it was a skinwalker or what I now believe to have seen until a year or two ago. I seen this article that a lot of other people had the same experience. Yeah. Ugh, I do not fuck with any kind of like haunted shit. I just got the chilly chills. chills. Somebody said both of my friends' cars rolled over there. Jesus. We still talking about it. I just seen the shadow over there. 
Oh my God! Shut the fuck up. Yeah. We are children of God. <laughs> I have my Jesus piece on. Oh my! God. You can believe in Jesus. I got a Jesus piece. <laughs> oh, we we'll rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Fuck that. She's gonna get us killed. <laughs> that is crazy. I would never go to somewhere that's haunted like that. You yeah. go to haunted houses. That was not. That's staged. It's oh. not staged. People it's really die Earth. every day in every spot. We know this scientist. <laughs> 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 fuck that no if you guys have a scary story or experience that you guys had there make sure you drop it below we want to know that's mm -mm. I, what's crazy is like I drive on the road and I totally see why people could roll over because there's a bunch of like curves and it's dark it is it's scary and especially when it gets foggy down there you gotta be careful mm. Because people get bored like you want to get scared um, let's get high and fucking go yeah don't do that <laughs> paranoid <laughs> Well, then I feel like, too, when people, other people say, like, this is what I saw, and then, like, they think about it a lot, and then they're like, fuck, is that what I saw, you know? That's scary. wild. Yeah, especially when you've been drinking, doing shrooms Don't be something. doing that. Don't be doing that, guys. Do better. Do it, do it. All right. Go ahead and tell me your favorite Nacho Libre line. We'll go back and forth. Let's see who uh, quits. A line from the movie. Chancho, let me borrow some sweat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but I wasn't a Nacho Libre fan. What? Bitch. At all. I wasn't. Strike number two, guys. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cut, dude. I can't do Whoever it. Whoever takes this bitch out, make her see that movie with you. I've seen it plenty of times. It just wasn't my thing. What? <laughs> so I broke right now. My cousins will know this shit. Fuck sorry, her guys. Up. Fuck her up. Sorry, guys. Damn, bitch. We're taking her to Riverdale Road. I'd rather do that. What? Then watch it now to leave it? Any day. Oh my god. You can murder her in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. All right. We're going to go ahead and shout out our official sponsor, Be Good Dispensaries. On Hampton and Broadway. Be Good Dispensaries. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That <laughs> joke got me going. Until next time, I'm your host, La Chula G. Nacho Libre. She's crazy. And I'm Rats. So you guys have a great night. Happy Halloween.